안녕하세요. Welcome to the coastal city of Busan in South Korea. We're covering Madex 2019 as official show daily, starting today's video report with the South Korean naval defense industry with a focus on DSME, the KSS-3 submarine program, a new USV by Elagin X1, and an update on the guided ammunition by Pogzon. <laughs> Dr. J.J. Ba from DSME. I am a, a principal engineer of the Naval Shipyard. Okay, so let me introduce our uh, next generation uh, new product, two types. Yeah, this is our next generation uh, submarine. Okay, as you know, well, so we have uh, experience to manufacture and deliver submarine, uh, 1,400 ton class to Indonesian Navy, and uh, relatively large size, 3,000 ton class named KSS-3 to Korean Navy. Okay, uh, based on the proven and safe design for Indonesian submarine, and uh, we are trying to combine uh, our uh, advanced high technology. So we developed this medium-sized submarine, diesel electric uh, with AIP system. This is a 2,000 ton class. So it has a AIP system and with a latest lithium ion battery and uh, permanent AC magnet motor. And uh, as you can see, so we have, uh, we applied uh, X-type uh, rudder to man maneuverability. And uh, we have uh, a flexible type of uh, weapon launching system so, uh, in accordance with the uh, customer's demand. Uh, actually, this is uh, uh, just to finish the uh, conceptual design. Okay, uh, if your customers want, uh, we can apply any type. Yeah, this is our next generation light frigate ship. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, it includes modularity design. So in a rapidly changing Navy environmental state, uh, if we have a certain system which is uh, structurally independent but uh, with a uh, uh, standardized interface, uh, we can uh, sufficiently uh, achieve uh, acceptable performance over a broad range of uh, possible set of requirements. So we are pretty sure uh, a common hull design would make a future Navy uh, strong, flexible, affordable. So we, this uh, product consists of a base standard section and customized section and variant sections. Uh, with this arrangement, we can meet the uh, uh, customer's demand for any part immediately. Uh, length, uh, base standard length is almost 100, but uh, in accordance, uh, according to the customer's request, length can be changed, uh, which means we have uh, provided pre-designed four optimal, optimum, optimum models. So uh, include speed, range, length, uh, number of crews, and mission. So, this uh, mission modularity designs uh, uh, are very flexible. So we are now standing in front of the KDDX uh, yeah. designed by DSME. Yeah. What is the current status of the KDDX program as far as uh, DSME is concerned? There is no well, the, this is uh, uh, just a finished conceptual design and uh, next year's uh, basic design uh, will be opened in that time so we can confirm the uh, exact design. So uh, actually it's so 20 16th, uh, we have uh, already a feasibility study, and, uh, and before that, uh, we also have conceptual design has finished. It has a uh, uh, 64 uh, VLS system and uh, integrated uh, mount mast and, and CIWS, uh, as you can see. So, uh, relatively so small size compared to KD3, so it will be the uh, best uh, uh, worship in Korean, Korean Navy. What can you tell us about uh, KSS-3 Batch 2? Yeah, so actually the small things. Uh, contractors have uh, finished uh, October 12th this year. And uh, uh, as you know, well, the Batch 1, with the Batch 1, and uh, we have uh, lengthening uh, due to the increased uh, VLS. Instead of the traditional LED-X battery, uh, we applied uh, uh, latest technology, lithium-ion battery. So we expect, we can expect uh, uh, underwater endurance uh, 
days will be increased. Uh, this is Muriga uh, from uh, Hanhua Defense. Uh, I'd like to introduce us our the lithium battery for the uh, a submarine. The submarine is KSS-3 uh, Batch 2. We will adapt this lithium battery pack uh, for the, that uh, KSS-3 uh, uh, Batch 2. Uh, this is uh, uh, Samsung lithium-ion uh, battery pack, uh, battery cell uh, from Samsung SDI. Uh, this is a very uh, commercial uh, lithium-ion cell. And uh, this is a tray. Uh, it contains uh, 24 uh, cells. Uh, sometimes they provide that, that uh, trace to us, and we make some module. This, this module consists of the eight layers of the tray uh, module. Uh, we uh, make now after we uh, made a module, and the, in the first, in, the, in front, uh, we had uh, about 100, and in the, in the back, about uh, another 100. Uh, and uh, from the uh, 2016, we start uh, a land-based system uh, test equipment. We test all uh, 8080 uh, test method, and we completely all the uh, test uh, successfully. And uh, we are doing uh, as the, as the, according to our plan. So welcome to LI Next One. The, my name is Kim Kwan Su, the senior manager of the LI Next One in the global the business team. Today, the, let me introduce about our Seesaw 2, the unmanned surface vehicle. This kind of Seesaw 2 mission can be used to the search and rescue and the even limited counter attack against the hostile the forces. Uh, actually, on the Seesaw 2, we can change the, our systems the, based on the, the customer requirement. But today, we have uh, just like uh, the small the sensors and shooters, the version. Let me tell you about that. And on the front part, uh, this one is a 12.7 millimeter the RCWS, remote the control weapon system. It's integrated with the whole the, the remote control system inside the, the ship. On the sister too, we have a very sensitive, the installed the sensitive sensors. The front one is a kind of the radar. We can detect the, the even the drone and small RCS target. We can we can detect the drone and also obstacles during the automatic the navigation. And just the, the below one is uh, the lighting for the for give the, the signal the warning to other ship. And the upper one is a uh, EOTS electronic optical the tracking system to control the to integrate it with the 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 gun in front. And the, the top one is a navigation radar, as you know. And just below the, from the top, the navigation radar, there's a camera that can, can assist the, the controller on the ship or on the control station. And below the each side, they have a GPS for the navigation of the references. And the, when you come back to the, the back world, you can see the another EOTS. This EOTS can be the integrated with the, this rocket system. This rocket system is what we call the 70 millimeter the guided rocket. That means it's a rocket body with the 70 millimeter diameter. But we we made the the missile with the seeker and the guidance together. So once designated the target at the three, simultaneously three target that can do attack to the three target, can engage the three target in the same time. The range is around the eight kilometer. So that one is a, the enough and the, the for the, the USB, I think. Kwon Su, can you give us some of the performance figure of the USB, like the speed and endurance? Yeah, actually the, the max speed, we just say the 35 knots, but my engineer says 14 knots is no problem. And also endurance, the endurance is 240 nautical miles with a 20 the notch. That means can operate 12 hours. She has a two diesel engines with a water jet propulsion. So actually the, we prepare for the two years before. That means after two years we have, we, we're just waiting for the, the Navy project. 
But I believe the army project is a little bit earlier. The, we just expect next year the army project for the army support and the army operation. And if you get a contract, you will start mass production when? We didn't have any contract yet, but we are confident to win the project. All right. Thank you, Ponsu. Thank you very much. I'm Payne Choi from Planning and Control Section at Pungsan Busan Plant. So we are uh, showcasing our gliding guided uh, rocket munition 5 and this GGRN5 is designed for use on 5 inch uh, naval gun, 5 inch 62 caliber naval gun system to strike uh, targets up to 100 kilometer uh, within 20, 20, 20 meters. The current status of this program is that we are in the process of designing and uh, conducting a ground performance test and we are planning to conduct a test firing in the first half of 2020. So this GGRN5 can be deployed in any ships that has a 5 inch 62 caliber naval guns. After the launch we uh, with the help of the rocket assisted propulsion, it achieves the highest altitude and then we removed the rotation and we, we deployed gliding wings and then we perform uh, precision attacks mission. So that's how we achieved the long missile. Yeah. We'll be mass producing GGRM at the request of DAPA and ROC Navy. Thank you. Thank you.